The number one reason that decade jeans don't fit right on the first try is not taking your measurements correctly. So I'm here to help you with that. Let's start. This process just takes one minute. All you need is a soft measuring tape and a mirror or a friend to help you. Honestly, you can do it solo, you can do it with a pal, whatever makes you comfortable. If you don't have a soft measuring tape, honestly, just go get one. They're available basically everywhere. If you wear our extended sizes, I recommend grabbing one that's about 90 or 120 inches. Standard one is about 60. So if your hip measurement or your waist measurement or any of your measurements are higher than 60 inches, you wanna go for one of the 90 or 120 inch tapes. In a pinch, you can use a long piece of non-stretch ribbon or a string and a construction tape. I just recommend going and getting a measuring tape because it's just way more accurate. So I like to measure on top of my clothing because I just find the tape slides around a little easier. Every brand does this differently, so just follow their size guides. They're usually pretty helpful. I like to measure on top of clothing. That's just how I do it. So find a mirror. We're just gonna take two quick measurements, your waist measurement and your hip measurement. So we're gonna start with your waist. Everybody's waist is in a different spot. I can't give you one instruction on how to find your waist. If you have a body that clearly dips in and has a really clear indication of where the smallest part of your torso is, that's your waist. If your body doesn't have a clear indication where your waist is, what I recommend is tilting to one side and there's gonna be a little crease or a little fold and that is where your waist is. Slide the tape around your back and uh, shift it around a little bit. That's really gonna make it settle into that correct spot. I like to hold my tape quite tight. Hold your finger like right exactly where the metal piece on the end of the tape matches the measurement on the tape and then you can release and that's your waist measurement. I recommend writing these down as you go. It's just super important to have your measurements basically anytime you're shopping online. So just write that down. Our size charts are all in inches, so it's useful to have it in inches for our website. Now we're gonna move on to the hip measurement, which is typically the widest part of your tush. But first, I wanna talk about a sneaky third measurement if you have a hanging belly or a bigger belly, it's actually likely that your booty isn't the widest part of your hip measurement. So it's kind of nice to have this third measurement if you do have a belly. Just go ahead and wrap the tape around your back and then bring it around the front of your belly. Jot that number down as measurement number two. And then measurement number three is your hip. So the hip is commonly the most confusing measurement. Uh, I think a lot of people get confused by the term the hip bone. So your hip bone is right here. So some people take that, that's like several inches high higher than where your hip measurement is. Your hip measurement is actually just the widest part of your tush. So what you wanna do, bring the measuring tape around the back again, slide it back and forth. You really, really want this to hit the widest part of your tush. Sometimes the tape can slide underneath your booty, you don't want that. And sometimes the tape can slide up from your booty, you don't want that. So turn to the side, really take a look in the mirror and make sure it's sitting really nice and straight, really horizontal. Again, I hold the tape pretty tight, especially if you're wearing jeans. Write that number down and that's the uh, magic number for your hip. So now that you have these measurements, I've developed a tool that's right down below. It is called our size calculator. So enter these accurate measurements into the size calculator and it's going to tell you what style works best for your body, which is super important. And not only that, but what size works for your measurements. I really highly recommend going with the style that I'm recommending to you in the Fit Recommender. If you are recommended the Pamela, but you really, really, really want the Alex, just give us a shout. We can kind of work this out with you, but your weight distribution really puts you into one of the three fits. Once you have your recommended style and your recommended size, uh, they're linked directly to the product page so you can cruise around. Thank you so much for taking the couple minutes to watch this video. Honestly, it's so worth it to take the time to take your measurements before you order because it's very likely that you're gonna get closer or a direct hit if you take your measurements properly. Thanks again for watching. Happy measuring. <laughs>